So we're going to see if she thinks about going in there on her own again. And she did. Good girl. Hi, Kat here from Standing Stone Kennels, and we have Fox with us today. She is 12 weeks old, and as you can see, she's sporting a new flat collar. Uh, she is old enough now that we've been doing some things while she's been traveling, like putting her out on stakeouts uh, so that she can get used to that. So today, we're going to give away a flat collar. Um, it's a puppy sized flat collar, but uh, we're going to be giving that away to anybody who's liking, sharing, commenting on our videos, subscribing to our YouTube channel. Any of these things get you entered in a chance for that giveaway. So I'm going to set Fox down, grab our food. This is her evening meal that we're actually going to be using for her training session and our clicker. So far, we've been working on clicker training her to recall, clicker training her to sit, and clicker training her to go on her dog bed, and we've introduced the cue kennel. Uh, so now we're going to do a little refresher on all of those things, as well as then we're gonna transition from going on her dog bed using the cue kennel to learning how to go in a crate, um, also using the cue kennel if we get to that point. Um, we use the Q kennel for any place that we want her to go, whether that's a dog bed, transitioning into a crate, loading up in the back of the truck, all of these places can be kennel. Um, anytime we use that word, usually it's in a situation where there's only one option. I'm asking her to kennel when we've got a dog bed right here. I'm asking her to kennel only when we've got a crate right here. So she uses context clues um, and maybe a little bit of my body language to know what I'm actually asking of her. So we're gonna build a little momentum with this training session. Just asking her to do a few things that she already knows. Sit. Good girl. We've also been working on her not jumping up at us for treats as much. So we're gonna work on that here. Remember, timing is important. Anytime um, she hears that click, it not only marks the behavior we're asking for, but it also ends the behavior we're asking for. Fox here. Good. Kennel. So she's got a pretty good understanding of these behaviors that we've been asking for. She still sometimes anticipates how she's gonna get the next treat, but if I haven't asked for it, I'm not gonna mark and reward her for those behaviors because we want her at this point, she's 12 weeks old, we want her to start distinguishing um, between what we're actually asking for and then her just doing whatever she wants. So I'm gonna ask her here. Good girl, give her that treat. Now, which is just her meal, actually, not a treat. Then I'm going to get rid of this dog bed so it's not an option for her to go on anymore. And then we're going to start trying to uh, get her to go in this crate. So she's already knowing that we're working with this crate. She's kind of put her feet up on there. That's not what we're wanting. We're wanting her to go in the crate. So a couple of things that we can do is we can just be patient and see if she is curious enough about the crate to go in there. She's already learned um, a little bit through this clicker training process that to get a reward, she has to do something. And a lot of times she will try and figure out how to get that reward, what we're looking for. So not getting up on the crate but I can start by marking small increments. Like she had already just stuck her head in the crate. If she does that again, I'm gonna actually mark that behavior. And though it's not all the way in the crate that we want, it's a small step in that direction. So getting her attention, just so that she can stay focused over here on the crate. I can kind of give her a little direction. So she stuck her little nose in the crate for a second. We're gonna see if we can build on that. So 
So I just made a little noise with my mouth to keep her focused over here. And as you can see, we've got the door off the crate so that it doesn't swing closed on her or anything like that. I'm just trying to get her moving and walking towards the crate. Sometimes a little movement will help, a little direction. So she stuck her head in there again. We're gonna give her another little reward. Click that behavior. I'm gonna try and work towards that a little more. Getting her attention towards the opening of the crate. We don't want her paws up on the crate. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for her to go in the crate. So if we're not getting anywhere with this, just being patient, which we can continue to be patient, and eventually she's gonna go in there or she's gonna stick her head in there a little bit farther and we can keep building off of that. But another thing that you can try is just, now that she's wearing a little puppy collar, I can just try and help lead her in there. Um, so I'm not forcing, I'm not cramming her in there, but I'm just getting her <laughs> turned around, headed that direction. Give her a little gentle pressure. As soon as she walks in, she's hearing that click and then getting a reward. Again, that click marks the behavior, but it also ends the behavior. So we're gonna just walk back towards the crate. Go ahead and give her a little light pressure till she steps in, clicked and rewarded that. So we're just gonna help her again, head towards the crate. Get a hold of that collar, just giving, I'm just giving her a little bit of light pressure towards the crate, getting her going that direction, get her moving a little bit. Good girl. And a lot of times it's just about getting her feet moving. You know, when she's sitting, oh, she almost did it herself. But when she's sitting there and I start trying to apply pressure, she um, resists that pressure just a little bit. But if we get her moving, she just keeps moving and goes right in. So instead of her sitting there and me pulling and pulling on her, getting her moving a little bit, and then she'll just go right in. So if she's fighting me a little bit, we're just gonna get her moving and then she goes right in. So we've shown her a few times that, hey, going in, being led into the crate can get you rewarded. Fox. So we're gonna see if she thinks about going in there on her own again. And she did, good girl. So sometimes it's just a matter of showing your dog, your puppy, what behavior we're looking for to get rewarded. So now that she knows going in that crate can earn her a reward, um, hopefully we can build on that without me having to lead her in there at all. Just getting her focus again, walking towards the crate. And she went right in, heard the click, got a reward. Uh, again, getting her feet moving a lot of times 
Walking towards that crate, which is where we want her to go, just gives her a little bit of indication what we're looking for. So I can move my feet again. Walk towards that crate. She walks right in, gets a reward. This crate's a nice size for her as well right now uh, because she can really just walk right in. She doesn't have to belly crawl in. It's not too small for her. Box. But it's not so big either that since she's still a puppy, she has too much room to play around and have potty accidents in. So a crate that's the right size really can help with potty training as well. Good, so we're getting a really nice consistent response here, giving her just a little bit of nonverbal cues of walking towards that crate. Getting her moving again. Okay, come on, Fox. Getting her moving towards that crate again. And getting that reward. She's being very focused and calm right now for this training session, which is good, less jumping at us. And we're getting this behavior that we're looking for exhibited pretty consistently now. So I can actually start introducing the cute kennel again as she's going into that crate. Kennel so that she can start associating going in the crate is also the same um, behavior that we're looking for, is also kenneling, just like going on her kennel. Dog bed. You might be able to hear our son Aiden in the background. He's cooing to himself in his little swing. Kennel. Good girl. She's doing a really good job with this. Making great progress. Kennel. Good girl. Kennel. Getting really great responses. I'm actually going to grab her food bowl since we got a lot of good reps here. Oh, there you are. We've also been working on her sitting and staying for longer while we've been trying to feed her. So we're gonna work through that. She's gonna get the rest of her meal here and then we're gonna thank you for watching. Sit. Good girl. We got the bowl all the way to the ground, which is great progress with her. So again, I'd like to thank you for watching our videos. If you're enjoying watching Fox Training Progress, please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you're selecting to get those notifications so you don't miss any of her great videos. Um, and if you're liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing, we are going to enter you in a chance to get a puppy collar. And like I said, Fox has been doing really great with all of her training. She's 12 weeks old. We're going to continue working with her um, and be back with another video very soon. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.